All right, we're taking a look here at four expressions. And so these allow you to iterate over a complex type and apply transformations. A four expression can accept as input list, set, tuple, map, or an object. I want to distinguish this between for each, which is a resource meta argument, which allows you to iterate over a, uh, a resource or a collection of resources um, that are similar. But four expressions are for these primitive types, or not these primitive types, but these uh, collection structural types that we talked about in types and values, okay? So here's an example of something we might wanna do. Imagine we have a list of names and we want to iterate through our list and up, make them all uppercase. So we could do that with this four. So we have the four with the in and then we're providing the value of each item in our list. Uh, it's easy to think of list or tuple as an array. So I'll just call it an array, okay? Then you have a map. Uh, and so this is where it has a key and value. This is gonna be for maps or objects. And the idea is that we can then go apply transformations and notice that we are returning only a single string. So we're actually gonna get back something like a tuple. And so how does it decide whether it returns a, um, a array or something that looks like an object? We'll explain that here in a moment. The last one here is we have a list with an index. So it's very similar to the first one, but in this case, uh, we want to know the uh, index here. So imagine this says zero is Andrew, uh, one is Cindy, uh, two is Peter, and it would come back as an array or list. So let's talk about the return types. The return types are defined by the um, uh, the braces or brackets that are around the actual expression. So if you have square braces, we're going to get back a tuple. So let's just think of an array. So for in this case where we had our uh, list, um, it was returning back a tuple, okay? If we have curly braces, it's going to return an object. So here we have a, a list, so it's like an array that's coming in here, and then we are specifying as the return uh, this kind of object structure. And so that's how we're gonna get that. So that's that. Uh, there's one other thing we wanna mention, which has to do with um, uh, reducing or ordering. So an if statement can be used uh, to reduce the amount of elements returned. So uh, in this case, what we're doing is we're using an if statement. And so we're saying, unless this is true. So if this is true, then return. If it's not, then uh, return less of what is there. So if there's any blank names that are in our list, they just won't show up. It'll just only show names that are actually there. Um, then we have implicit element ordering. So since Terraform can convert an unordered type, so map objects and sets to an order type, list or tuples, it will need to choose an implied ordering. So for maps and objects, they're stored by key A to Z, set of strings stored by uh, 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 strings A to Z, everything else is gonna be arbitrary ordering. So there you go.